Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Heart of a Teacher 242. It's been a while. I am so glad you are here to watch this short little demonstration of what I'm what I am doing to plan for my lesson. Now, this is this is a math lesson I'm trying to put together and I wanted it to be a little bit fun. Um I didn't want to just, you know, focus on just the ordinary, but I wanted to add something special to this lesson. And so on my PowerPoint slides, I have created kind of like a game. And it's basically just a background. And I have um, around five treasure chests that the students will... Um, tell me to click on and once I am um, advised as to what they want me to click on it will automatically go to another slide and let me, let me just show you what I mean okay so here we are on the first slide here these other slides um, relate to a different game I created and by the way coming soon to the TPT store Bye. I'll say by the end of the week. Go to Heart of a Teacher 242 on Teachers Pay Teachers and check out the game. Um, I think it's called I'll I'll write it in the in the description, okay? Because I don't want to give the wrong title. But anyway, we also have a second Teachers Pay Teachers store called Cool Clips Illustrations on TPT. So make sure to go and check that out because there are also some awesome stuff on that page as well. I'll leave it in the description. Now, let me show you this little game because I'm trying to hurry up work on it because I need it for this week. So let's go to current slide. Oh, and P.S. If you need free images that you can use um, for commercial use or just, you know, just for personal use, you can go to, I think it's called pixabay.com. There are a lot of awesome images there. This is not a sponsored video by them by no means, but Pixabay, if you want to sponsor me, hey. Anyway, so... If I'm not pronouncing that website name right, I will also leave that in the description as well. So, okay, so I'll ask the students, okay, what, okay, which of these you would like to choose? And so they say, oh, I want to choose number one. Okay, so choose number one, and it goes to my word problem. Now, they, we will go over the word problem and all of that wonderful stuff. And I still have some things to put in there. So if you see any mistakes, it's not finished yet. This is just the first draft. So there might be some things off on this slide, but don't come for me. I'm going to, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Um, so anything that's missing, I will correct. Anything that is wrong, I will correct as well. So once we get that sorted out, then of course, you know, you go ahead and solve the problem and P.S. I didn't check these answers and so hopefully they are right. If they are not right, I will fix it. So once we get that sorted out, um, I click on this arrow and we go to some information on a spider. Because we're learning about spiders this week, I just wanted to incorporate some spiders, um, some insects. We're learning about invertebrates, spiders, and insects. And so I wanted to integrate science with math. And this is something that I am loving all of a sudden. Oh, sudden. What am I saying? It's, it's too late at night, people. Anyway, I am loving integrating science and math together. I feel like it is so cool. Um, I, I love science anyway. So 
integrating the science with the mat has totally been awesome, especially when it comes to the pictures. And so I am just loving this. And for you out there who also wanted an idea of how you could switch up some things, try throwing in some science with your math because learning about um, animals and plants and all that good stuff is really interesting. So integrate other things with math to make it a little bit more fun. So once that's done, and also I have a little, a little recording here to pronounce um, the word that they might have problems with. I was thinking about recording my voice saying all of this informa information, but I'm not sure. But anyway, um, okay, my mind went blank. Okay, yeah, back on track. So we click on the, this button right here, the arrow, and it's going to go back to that area where they have to pick a different number. And of course, every time they pick a different number, we're going to be doing another word problem. And after we do the word problem and we get it right, we will be rewarded by learning about some more insects or some more spiders and all the fun facts, etc., etc. So this is just my little demonstration video of how you can bring excitement, how you can bring just a spin on how you teach math, how you can integrate things like science to bring more excitement, how you can integrate playing um, these types of games to make your learning fun. I, I just love it. Okay, so once again, I am Heart of a Teacher 242. It was so awesome to be with you in this video. I hope you come back again soon. Remember to click subscribe, the notification bell, and all that wonderful stuff. And remember, spread love and not hate. Bye.